Alrighty, so today we are obviously looking at the Chamberlain Electrolift, um, but obviously I currently have the case off of it. So, um, I'm actually recording this video before I've recorded the, uh, the first video of this that you guys have already seen at this point. Um, I had to take the case off of this to set the limits, so I figured I'd make this video first. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, just thought I'd show you this thing without the case off of it. Um, you know, kind of what's inside here. Uh, obviously, it is a V-belt drive. Uh, this is my only V-belt drive opener that I have in my collection. Uh, you have your motor right here. You have this shaft with a set screw there that shafts onto that. Obviously, you have your belt here and then this big disc. Uh, this is your reduction there. Um, on this side, you can see we have your limits right there. Uh, you spin those, um, you know, depending on which way you want to adjust it. You have to take this plate off, and then to run it, you have to put the plate back on. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, like I said, motor there, limits there. Um, then you have, this I believe is your relay. Uh, this does not have a board. This is relay based. Um, there's your start capacitor there. Uh, just some more wiring in the back. This piece right here, uh, that is your thermal light delay. Um, these two contacts will move towards each other. And then when they touch, that triggers the, uh, the lights to come on. So obviously you have your light sockets right there. Um, so yeah, this comes off of here. I have this plate off right now as well. Uh, you have your main drive sprocket. This is what turns. And then you have this other sprocket here. This sprocket kind of acts as a chain spreader. So, um, yeah. And then on here, you can actually tell how the force system on this kind of works. Um, so this is spring loaded. Uh, I don't have it set very high right now at all, uh, just because, you know, this isn't on anything. So, um, yeah, this will pull this and then it will trigger that switch when, uh, this is moved back and forth and then that'll trigger your force but um yeah going back to the inside here uh i guess that's that's just more wiring um some of that probably goes to your limit controls some of it goes to lighting relays you know etc not really sure what this is but um yeah anyway i guess let's just go ahead and run this uh we'll run it with the uh button here and i'll show you the uh thermal light delay as well so when we run it See those two pieces go towards each other, then they make contact and the light comes on. So yeah, um, obviously it does work. Um, let's see, I'll show you the uh, limits as well. So your limits are on this side. Uh, when you hit the button, you see they catch on that plate and then they just ride the rest of the, uh, you know, thing up and then when it gets to a certain point it will shut off just like that um so yeah uh not really too much else to show obviously like i said uh there's the force there up on top um i guess we'll get you a view of this disc spinning in the back here or on the bottom So yeah, um, there you go. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, the light, and then after you know the opener stops, these will just slowly pull away from each other until eventually they quit making contact, and then the light will just flicker out. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I got this thing, I believe, new in box, so all the original parts in here, I would assume. Um, yeah, when I, when I first got this opener, the first time I ran it, the, uh, the thermal light delay actually started smoking a little bit. See there, light just flickered out. But, um, obviously it's fine now. Everything works. I have taken the motor out of this before. Uh, I've taken this, you know, little, uh, shaft out of here and then, you know, undid the motor like that. Um, there was, for a little while, this relay wasn't wanting to work, but, uh, obviously it's working just fine now. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and run this down one more time, and then that'll be it. There's the sprockets up there. So, 
So yeah, uh, this spins the same way as a, uh, a modern Chamberlain. Uh, it spins counterclockwise when it opens and clockwise when it closes. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just showing the uh, Electrolift without the case. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.